For today's Truck and Tuesday presentation, we're taking a look at the Hot Wheels Blast-In Rig. I don't know if this is still available, but it has a copyright of 2015. I got mine during the 2016 holiday season at DD's Discounts. You can see the price that I paid. It says it stores up to 14 cars. This package gives you three cars as a head start for your collection in loading up your truck. It comes with Boulevard Bruiser. This is a regular release back in 2013. Looks pretty much the same. Here we have Pile Driver. This color for Pile Driver was available in around 2007. This one up here, though, that one's pretty cool. That's RD03. He was in a playset or a track set called Gorilla Attack. Maybe you remember seeing it on the shelves. Not only can you use this truck to haul your cars, but look, it's a launcher too. You load your cars, pull the trigger, and launch. Look at all the cars it can carry. This level here, it looks like you open up a back door and you load them up that way. Wait a second. This one doesn't look like the one on, that I have. It has different graphics. This one kind of has like a hazard or a demolition derby type look. Well, this I... I don't know, I think I've seen that logo before. You can see motion blur right here, so this part moves. That looks like how you activate your launcher. There's the, hey, that's 24-7. He's getting launched out of the front of the truck. And it looks like the cab actually extended. It either extends or it comes off. I'm not sure, because look how close it is right here to the trailer. And over here, there's a big gap. I took everything out of the box. Guess what? It included an instruction booklet. What? City Blastin' Rig. It was only called Blastin' Rig on the box. There's the truck. It has a few models. Mm, those aren't the models that I got with my set. Do you know the names of those models? Inside it shows the same picture. Here's the instructions to play. Apparently there's a switch. Not only is there the launcher, but there's a switch. So there's like the launcher. Right here we have a little orange switch. So you're gonna set switch to load and launch vehicles. There's the back door I talked about. And you can put the cars on top or you can put them in the back and that's how you close it up. Let's see over here. See, there's your launcher. Hold rig at back when firing. Pull and release to trigger quickly for best results. Oh, it's, it's not really like a launcher to where you set and launch. It sounds like more where you go boing, 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 and you just uh, launch it with your finger. Move switch to chains, lanes, and continue firing. There's the launcher. It said for me to hold the truck, so I'm going to hold it right here, and then pull this back. Oh, yeah, look. Pretty cool. What about this switch? It said to change lanes. Use this switch. Oh. Did you see that? Oh, that's how you're going to change which lane the cars are going to get launched from. You can see the launcher right here. This part, that's what's going to push the car. Because when I move this, watch this latch right here. Oh, yeah, they're connected. I found out my truck had a problem. Remember when I was taking a look at those orange pieces right now? That's the diverter. goes back and forth. But look. Look how mine's laying down now. Let me go back and show you that footage. When I move the launcher, that orange piece stays up. It's supposed to go up and down to stop the next car from going in, like this. When you pull this back, you can see it pop up and down. That stops the second car from going in. Well, I went to look at what was going on, and when I went to look at this piece, mine not only was it popped up, but it was crooked. And then when I tried to fix it, it popped out. This little piece popped out. I don't know if you can use it without this piece, but you definitely need this to lay down flat. Thankfully, I got mine put together. Let's load up some cars. Open up the back door. Drive on in. Well, you're going to have to pick up your cars. Let me see. Where's my diverter? It's on the left side. So let me put him on the left side. Oh, helps if you put him in straight. Let's put this one on the right side. Where's he going to go? Oh, check that out. He loaded right into position. And then the next one, we're going to put on this side here. The 
There we go. Oh, they look nice. Hey, how you doing down there? Ready? I'm gonna pull back and launch. <laughs> he kind of flew out of there. Now let's change lanes. Uh-oh, they both went forward. Let's see, hopefully only one car drops. Uh-oh. What happened, Boulevard Bruiser? You weren't supposed to go. You ready? Not yet. He's probably going to drop into position as soon as I pull this back. Let's go ahead and pull it back. Let's watch him drop into position. Uh, need some help? Go! Oh. You seen how Boulevard Bruiser just kind of fell out the front? I want to test them again and see how they come out. I want to look from the front on all three cars. This camera angle is going to let me know, do the cars come out and park or they just fall out the front like, you know, blah. <laughs> yep, excuse me. Let's try the second one. Uh, it looks okay. Last one. Well, two out of three, I think. With some practice, I got a little technique. What you want to do is pull it back fast so the car drops straight down into its spot. Hello. You can only use the launcher when you have the cab all the way against the trailer. If you want to drive around, you just pull it forward and now you can drive around. Hey, what are you doing? These three cars are cool, but none of them are on the box. How about I go ahead and load up the truck with all of those cars? Up first, the yellow model, that's Chicane. I happen to have the same exact release. It was part of a Trick Tracks playset. That's why I have it in the baggie. I'm gonna keep it in the baggie for now. Maybe you have this sample of Chicane. I'm gonna put him on the truck. Next to him in green is Power Pipes. I don't have that green version, but I do have this one. Behind Chicane is Backdraft. I have that same exact color. You see right here, you can see the star logo. Yep, that's him. Track Stars. He was part of a Track Stars release. He had a surfboard back then. I don't know if they still release him with a surfboard. And that surfboard does come out, by the way. Now that I'm zoomed in, we can get a better look at Backdraft as well. You can definitely tell it's the same release. I like it. It's kind of an interesting pink color. And next to him, it's kind of hard to see. Look, he's hiding. He's got cars blocking him. But when I, when I hold him at this angle right here, you can see the ridges. You see those ridges right there? There's the ridges. There you go. That's Speed Blaster. This is a pretty cool release. Very hard to find. You know why? It was part of a $200 play table release. Yeah, this thing was at Sam's Club. You got the play table, got some play sets, over $200 I seem to recall. Two of the cars were actually exclusive to this set, the Speed Blaster, and then there was another blue model that was mainly found with the play table. Here's a closer look. Very, very few people actually have this car because who wants to spend $200 to buy a play set just to get this car? Besides me. Of course, a lot of people know that green car. He's pretty popular. That's 24-7. I got that color too. So far I'm doing pretty good as far as having the right colors of the right cars that are on the box. As far as the blue car that's behind them, I have him too. Pretty cool. What do you think? Is it a match? Yeah, I think that's him. RD08 is exclusive to this Deserate 1000 truck and transporter pack. Let me see what we have here. I'm going to show him in another Truck and Tuesday video. I don't want to open them up. I'm going to, I'm going to save them for his special video. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this sample of RD08 instead. 
I'll have him on the trailer. There are two more cars up there that are hard to see, but thankfully they have a picture down here. Since I wasn't sure what that brown car was, I went to the race crews community and posted a question and Callum told me it's asphalt assault. I went into my collection, check it out. I must have bought that trick track set because I have that asphalt assault. I'm gonna keep this in the baggie again because I like to keep my special cars in the baggie. Instead, I'm gonna put this one on the truck, this version of Asphalt Assault. Maybe you haven't. In front of Asphalt Assault is 40 something. I have that color too. I like 40 something because he looks like the Ford GT. I have my top row filled up with cars. Now I gotta get the ones for the bottom row. Let's see that blue model in the front. Wait a second. I think that's 40 something again. They had them right there. Now they have them again right here. You can see the flames right there. <laughs> Why'd they use them twice? Wait a second. That's 40 something too, but in yellow. If you look on the side right here, you have the little dimple on the side. There's the dimple on the side. Here's this, the style of this pillar right here. You can see the pillar right there. They, they have 40 something three times on the box and two of them are the same car. Here's a close-up so you can decide for yourself. You definitely have the, the groove right there in the side of the pillar, the groove in the side, and you definitely see them over here. As far as the yellow one, here's the back window. Let me turn this around so you can get a view of the, the back window and see that's, that's definitely 40 something right there. Since they have them twice on the box, I'm gonna use this version. That yellow one might be a prototype. Uh, I checked, I couldn't find any records of a yellow one, but who knows, uh, maybe I just couldn't find it. I'm gonna use this green version for the second one to go with them in the truck. Do you know why Mattel calls this 40 something? By the way, this one has 40 on the hood in the graphics. I think they call it 40 something because they kind of made it look like the Ford GT or the GT40 actually. This, this casting right here, this is kind of a 2005 version, I think, of the Hot Wheels of the Ford GT. If it's, as you can see, very similar in design style. So this is Mattel's 40-something, and this is Ford's GT40. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty similar styles. The back window, they take little influences, right? You have the back window, you have the low side, uh, low profile, look at the pillars right here. Yeah, very, uh, <laughs> very, very similar. Since they show 40 something three times on the box, I'm gonna use these three models. Hiding in the back, we haven't seen that model in a while, but I know who he is. That's Monoposto, and I know where I got mine. I got mine from this expandable set. It was called Garage, and there he is up on top. So of course I had two of these sets. One I opened up, you wanna peek at the back? There you go, there's a peek at the back. I can see a couple cars in the left lane, a white car and a green car. Hmm, let's see. The white model is Hollowback. I have the same exact version right here. There's a look at the top if you'd like to see them. You guys might know them from the accelerators. And in green, we have Swoopy Doo. There's Swoopy Doo. He has a nice orange canopy and flames on top. Hey, guess what? I was in the store today and I just seen the same RDO3 in Earthquake Alley. That means he is not exclusive to the Gorilla Attack set. Well, that was pretty cool. I had almost all of the cars on the box, the same exact release. The ones I didn't, at least I had another color to put on the truck. Do you have all of the cars that I showed? I'm not talking about just the colors. I mean, just a sample of the cars. The one I didn't have at all, I don't have this exact power pipes. I'm curious where that came from. I did have this chicane, but I'm keeping them in the baggie. In the back right there, I did have asphalt assault. I'm gonna keep him in the baggie as well. Oh yeah, RD08 had him too, but I'm gonna save him for his own special Truckin' Tuesday video. Okay, now let's blast them all.
power pipes, his pipes are sticking up. Nope. I'm just gonna put him in the front. Now I see why they call it blasting rig. It's more like you're blasting the cars than launching them. Hardly any of them came out landing on their wheels. A lot of them seemed like they were just flying about. If you or your family enjoy Race Grooves videos, consider getting some perks at Patreon. You'll find out how to get early access to some Race Grooves videos. You'll also find out another way to get a shout out in the Race Grooves Weekend Show. Thank you for watching and have fun with your toys. Bye bye.